Hello and welcome back to Marta from Sparta. In this video we will be covering step-by-step -step tutorial how to make press flower art. Remember this empty small wall with the ugly thermostat sitting in the middle? Remember amazing transformation we made for this area by creating stylish and functional thermostat cover? If you missed this video I will link it in the description below. Also check time codes in the description and you might learn something new! Today I will show you how to make a beautiful flower press art piece for this or other space in your home. Also if you have a garden or you are simply nature lover I will show you how to freeze time and enjoy beauty of the nature all year long. I am huge gardener myself and this year garden season was particularly special to me. First time as addition to the vegetable garden, I had a flower bed with stunning dahlias, hydrangeas, marigolds, daisies and more. I had fresh cut flowers on my table from April. But unfortunately garden season in my growing zone is slowly coming to the end. And except of beautiful pictures on my phone, I won't have fresh flowers anymore. I knew this will be the case, so I plan ahead and I dried some of my most beautiful flowers. This way I can enjoy looking at them all year long and be proud of myself that I am growing every year as a gardener myself as well. But hey, before we go ahead and start, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit this notification button so you won't miss my next video. Every week I will share with you fun, easy and creative ideas on the budget. And if you have expensive taste like me and you want to keep your bank account happy as well, this is the right place for you. So hit the subscribe button now and let's get started. When I was doing research and educating myself how to press flowers, I came across this beautiful Instagram page. I knew this is exactly what I want and what I'm looking for for my space. As always, of course, the cost of this art was super high. They offer two options. You can send them your fresh flowers and they will press them for you and make custom art. Or you can order art from them from their existing inventory. Neither of these options worked for me for two reasons. One cost of them making custom art from my fresh flowers is $500 or more, depends on size, and buying ready art from their inventory was not personal to me as I wanted to freeze my own memories. So since I have expensive taste, I figured out how to make it on a super low budget and I will share everything here with you. Here is the list of what you need. Black poster or any color you wish for your project. Dry flowers, I will discuss this later in the video. School glue, bowl or any container, paintbrush, ruler, pencil and tweezers. As far as flowers go, there is few options out there. Pick them up from your own flower garden. Ask your neighbors for a few flowers if they have a flower garden. Go for the hike with your partner and kids, family. There is plenty gorgeous options out there. You can go for flower hunt mission with your kids and make a game out of it. It will be super fun experience for kids and you. Take your partner for a walk and pick flowers together. It could be very romantic. By doing this with someone special, you're adding value of memories to your art, which is unreplaceable. That's why I decided to use my own flowers from my garden. You can also buy flesh flowers in the grocery store and press them yourself. Or maybe you have some special flowers in the vase right now which you would like to save as a memory. If none of the above applies to you, there is plenty of options on the internet. You can buy ready-pressed flowers. I will attach 
few links in the description below. So I decided to press flowers into metals. Traditional, by placing them in between pages of old magazines and weigh them down. That takes about two weeks or so, so plan your project ahead. Cost of that is zero. And also I use the microwave flower press, which I already had. Uh, that gives you instant result, but cost of the press could be $60 and more. Either way, it is great. Microwave flower press requires little practice and education. If you're interested in learning how to use microwave flower press technique, leave me comment below and I will make separate video about that. I had basic idea how I want my art to look like, so I only focused on picking up flowers, which will match my vision and size of my art. So please plan ahead size of your art, this way you will have basic idea how many flowers you need to pick and dry. As I mentioned before, I use two metal. As you see on comparison, microwave pressed leaves and flowers are more vibrant in colors, while during natural pressing it seems that they lose a little bit of pigment. Regardless of the final result, I used all of them on my art. I was looking for variety of shades and tones. Okay, let's cut shape of our poster background, which will fit frame of your choice. I am making art for my thermostat cover, which I made last week. Check link below if you missed that video. Once I cut out shape of my background, I also decided to stay one inch away from the edge. This middle area is dedicated to the flower art. You have to place the flowers only in the marked area. Before I start to gluing dry flowers, I did a test lineup. I placed my flowers and leaves where I want them generally to go and I play around with it for a while until I was happy with the placement and design. If you are a more spontaneous type of artist, you can skip this step and glue them as you go. As I mentioned before, I choose leaves and flowers which I have some sort of memories behind them. You can create your own memories by taking your kids, family or partner on walk and pick your own flowers. Gluing process is very simple. My only tip is to have a tweezers handy. It's way easier to pick very fragile flowers with tweezers and place them without damaging them. You don't need a lot of glue. You don't need to cover whole flower or leaf. Make sure that you only put a glue on the very few parts which are gonna be in touch with your background paper. This is really enough. I decided to dilate the glue a little bit with a water in the bowl. I noticed that glue straight from the tube was way too thick. I had very difficult time to spread it on the very fragile flowers and leaves without damaging them.
for a little bit of fun, I am attaching time lapse of my work. I really, really enjoy looking my press flower garden growing on the screen. And voila, it came out so beautiful. I am so amazed and happy with the results. Hey, in my case, cost of this project was only $11. I only needed black poster and a school glow. Rest of the items I already have at home. So if you have a school glow at home, your cost will be even lower. I hope I also gave you a fantastic idea for creative and romantic date, or fun time with your partner, family, or children, when you can go for fantastic, exciting flower hunting time and make your own memories and make art together. And hey, if you have expensive taste like me and you want to keep your bank account happy as well, this is the right place for you. Thank you for watching. I will see you next week.